What's up friends? Today's video I am going to be sharing with you how to create shipping discounts in eBay and how to decide if it's right for you. Every business model is different, everyone sells different things and has a different strategy. So I'm not only gonna be showing you how to set it up, but I'm gonna be showing you how to look at the data and analytics behind it to decide if it's right for you. Let's jump right into it. No one wants to hear me chit chat. So if you have a store, you're going to be, you come up here to my seller hub, which is sell, you click on marketing and then you click on markdown sale. I do have videos going over how to create coupons and run sales. So definitely check out the link up above. Today's video, we are going to be talking about creating shipping discounts. And so this means Actually, before I show you, let me tell you what it means. This means that it is creating discounts for buyers if they buy multiple items or a certain level of you know $75 or more, trying to encourage people to bundle. Now, I understand everyone's strategy is going to be different. Everybody sells different items, so you have to figure out which one is right for you. Try it out, mess around with it, and do the analytics. Let me know down below if you guys do free shipping or what you try and it works for you. I do clothing, so most of my Shipping's about the same cost. If you sell uh, all kinds of different items, you may have to be really strategic in how you set this up. So we are in marketing, we are in markdown sale. You can come up here and create a promotion. You can see these are lots of different things that you can create promotions for. As I said, I have tutorials on how to do all of these. So you go in there and you click a shipping discount. I highly recommend making this a name. So as you're going through and you're testing things, you really know what this is. So for me, I'm just gonna say, you know, YouTube test, because uh, I'm not actually going to launch this. But I would say, hey, I'm, I'm going to test $75 and above, or I'm going to test doing it in Christmas, right? Doing a Christmas shipping, whatever you want to name it so that you can go back and look and really understand what you were trying to do. Uh, this won't be visible to buyers. So this is strictly so you can manage what your shipping discounts are. And then you come down here and you click set your purchase requirements for buyers to qualify for free shipping. So they can have no minimum. You can just do free shipping for everyone. That would kind of be like a policy. You can do a minimum purchase amount. So if they spend $50 and they get free shipping, you could also do a minimum purchase quantity amount. Now I've said I have recently, or I'll say I have recently, and we're going to look at the data and analytics. I've recently set up two of these. One is if you purchase $75 or more, you get free shipping. And one is if you purchase three items or more, you get free shipping. Uh, and I, I'm going to, I'm looking at, I'll show you guys the analytics in a minute. Part of me is the $75 or more. I can take some of the shipping out of if you spend that much money in my store. I would prefer people to pay that I think I'm gonna make more money doing it that way however I am trying to encourage people to bundle together and get rid of some of my older inventory and I think the three items or more free shipping is going to encourage people to kind of maybe look at go back to my store and look and say hey are there other things that I can add on to get the free shipping I know for me personally as a shopper I do this right um, you know I need to spend ten more dollars to get free shipping so I go find something for ten dollars and do it so we'll see I'll show you guys the analytics in a minute because eBay not only gives us these tools they give us the analytics to figure out is it worth your time to do this is it worth losing money in doing this you can do a date range so if you want to say you know I'm only gonna do this for October or you want to have it on forever you don't do a date range free shipping or you could do like a flat rate shipping right so if you bundle three items together it costs you eight dollars right flat rate no matter what it is to sell again this is going to vastly depend on what you sell I sell clothing a lot of it is either padded flat rate or in a shipping or under a pound so it's easier for me to kind of say okay if they put it together it would probably cost me about this much and then you can go in and say hey I'm gonna set up your different shipping methods too right I keep it at standard but I can see many different reasons that you would want to change it to these different things to encourage people to buy more and I think I might change it to like an expedited and see if that encourages people like maybe around Christmas right change it to if you buy three more items you get expedited and free shipping or whatever it is let me know your guys' ideas down below I love hearing how different people manage and make money reselling on eBay. Uh, you could do all your inventory. You could go into specific eBay categories, which I really appreciate that they do this because 
I mean, like I said, I sell mostly the same items and they ship for about the same cost, especially because I'm right in the middle of the country. The thing is, if you sell, you know, a vast majority, some items may cost you $50 and maybe really, really heavy. Um, and some items like jewelry may cost you nothing. So you can go in and say, hey, all my jewelry, I'm going to do free shipping if they buy two or more, because I know that's not going to cost me a lot. You can also do it based off of your price range, offering it and based off your item condition. So they give you a lot of really big a lot of options on how to make this work for you understanding that everyone's shop and business is set up differently and then you do need to come down here and this is what they are going to see uh, what the buyer is going to see to encourage it so you can keep it what they have where it says free uh, shipping oh no it does not it says free standard shipping when you buy two that is what you have set up and this when I could put a more or free shipping qualifying enjoy free shipping <laughs> with two items two items or more and, and then you pick a picture they give you a couple to pick from or you could go into your computer and put you know you can make a cute little uh, graphic or whatever it is I'm not going to launch this because this is just for the sake of this video but then you can come in here and you were back on marketing we're back on promotions if you scroll down here you can click on all of the different promotions that you have running at one time for the sake of this video I want to strictly look at shipping discount so I have selected that and I want to look at my active ones you can look at ones that have ended and look at those analytics as well now granted I am doing this on let me see what day it is the 29th so I've had these going for about and I have them going forever we'll see if I keep them or if I end them but I've had it going for about a week maybe a little bit over a week definitely over a weekend to see if it encourage any sales or not the free shipping when you buy three seems to have worked it had sixty six dollars in promotional say sales and it gave me a seventy eight percent increase the free shipping on orders over 75 did not now one thing i am going to try and i will link the video up above if you have an ebay store you can send newsletters i will link up how to send newsletters above i may send this out to my subscribers and say hey I'm offering free shipping. If you have three more items or pick one of them, you can send the, I take that back. You cannot send a shipping discount. I can say it in a newsletter. You can send sales and coupons in a newsletter. You cannot send shipping discount direct links, but I can say, hey, I'm having free shipping and I'm also having this sale. Check out my closet. So I may try that and then see if this bumps up. If you like this video, YouTube also thinks that you'd like this video. I will link a playlist down here of eBay tutorials and how to make money reselling. And then make sure to hit that subscribe button to learn how to make money reselling on Poshmark and eBay.